This is how you can create this viral edit style in DaVinci Resolve. Alright, so in this example, I use three different text styles. The first one is the most common. Just drag a text plus note onto your timeline. Type in your text, choose your font and size, and then go to settings. Under compositing mode, select exclusion. This gives your text that inverted color look. The second style uses a displaced image texture. For that, you can simply download my free preset linked in the description. You will find it under effects. First drag an adjustment clip onto the timeline, then apply the effect to that clip. You can adjust the text, font and size in the inspector as usual. These two are your main text styles. For the word flames, I used my text fire preset. To use it, drag a text plus note onto the timeline. Search for text fire in the effects panel and apply it to your text. For some reason, it won't look perfect right away, but you can easily fix that by tweaking any of these sliders. You can also switch the fire color to blue or green, whatever it fits best on your edit. Now let's create the memory effect. For the text, you could keyframe the font for every single frame, or you can just use my font shuffle preset. You will find it under titles. Just drag it onto your timeline. If you want the font to change for every frame, set the speed slider to 1. Below that, you will see the list of fonts it cycles through. To change them, just type the exact font name from your system, but the spelling has to match. For example, if you want to replace Japanese 2020 with a Game of Thrones style font, I simply type that name in. For the memory effect itself, set a cut in your footage, copy and paste your clips and open that part in Fusion. Press Ctrl plus space, search for the magic mask node and edit. Go to the first frame, set the mode to better and paint a few strokes on the character you want to isolate. Then click forward track to mask the whole clip. Back in the edit page, copy and paste the mask clip and turn the lower one into a compound clip. Open it in Fusion and add a background, erode dilate and blur node. Set the background color to white, increase the erode dilate amount and raise the blur size. Then return to the edit page. For the shutter effect in the background, choose a new image of the character for every frame. Cut everything together and turn it into a compound clip. Place the compound clip underneath your two mask clips. You can also add two adjustment clips at the start and end of the shutter sequence and apply my twitchy shake preset to create a nice shaky transition. And that's pretty much it. Get creative with masking, hard cuts and shakes. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe, check out my editing discord server and I'll see you in the next video.